came out. How may we help you? Uh, cock rings. What is it? Cock rings. Catherine? Cock rings. Oh, okay. Hold on. That's the Auto Center Kmart. This is Steve. How may I help you? Uh, cock rings. I don't understand. What are you? Uh, cock rings. This is the Auto Center. How can I help you? Cock rings. Hold on. Electronics oh, Rapids. Can I help you? Uh, cock rings. I'm sorry. Can you say that again? Uh, cock rings. Cock rings. Uh, cock rings. I I really don't understand what the heck you're saying. Uh, cock rings. Is yep. that a person you need to speak to? Cock rings. All right, that's better. I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't understand what the heck you're talking about there. It sounds like just cock rings or whatever. Hang on, I'll patch you through the bedding. Good evening, Johnson Kmart Domestic Department. How can I help you? Cock rings. Say that again, please. Cock rings. Cock rings. Cock rings. What kind of rings? Cock rings. Cock rings. I've never heard of them. Cock rings. Cock rings. Cock rings. We don't carry them. Cock rings. Cock rings. I'm telling you, I have never heard of them. Cock rings. Cock rings. Cock rings. Cock rings. Cock rings. And what department are they sold in? Cock rings. Cock rings. <laughs> That's what's cool about me, though. Like, I'm half really crazy or I, I'm made up of someone that's pretty whacked yeah and the other half my dad is as normal as they can be yeah so that's why I'm like kind of normal then every once in a while I fucking oh, <laughs> curse <laughs> wow how many years you've been doing this Skippy <laughs> I thought I'd be the first one to screw that one up oh, god I'm sorry wait a minute that'll cost Boop. me there we go I beeped it oh man <laughs> You know what happens? Me and you get in, uh, get on the show, and, and we forget that the you know that people are actually listening to us. Forget that the F and mics are on. Yeah, I, I think I was just talking to you. Oh, that I is can't funny. I, said that. I seriously thought I would be the first one to do that. I have to apologize. Oh, yeah, you're so, screw it. You're so con you're so concerned about the four letter words, you forgot about that seven letter word. <laughs> oh, you nut! I cannot believe I just said that. That's good. Good. All right, well, I'll have to talk about my mom some other Lock day. Not gone. All right. <laughs> Hearing me, I help you? Hi, they call my name's Bill. I have a hearing problem. Yes. I need a hearing aid. All right. Uh, may I send you some consumer information about that? What? I would be happy to send you consumer information about buying a hearing aid. What was that, Missy? I would be happy to send you a brochure on hearing aids. They call my name's Bill. We don't sell hearing aids here. What was that? We do not sell hearing aids here. What? I can send you information about a hearing aid you may want to purchase. One more time, what? All right. I can send you information about a hearing aid you may want to purchase. What? Can I have your address? They call my name's Bill. I'm in the home. How can I help you, Bill? What? How can I help you, Bill? I need a hearing aid. We do not sell hearing aids, Bill. What? We do not sell hearing aids. L don't yell at me, Missy. <laughs> no, no, I, I wouldn't think of it. I need information. I understand that. What? <laughs> they call my name's Bill. Yes, I understand that, Bill. I got a little rascal. A little rascal, huh? What? And you got a last name, Bill? Let me look at my license. Wait a minute. Sure. 85 and still driving, Toots. <laughs> okay. What does your license say your last name is, Bill? Wisnowski. Well, would you spell that, please? Wisnowski. Bill Wisnowski. I understand. Would you spell Wisnowski for me, Bill? It's spelled like it sounds, lady. W-H? W-I-Z, like in Wiz. Okay. N-O-W, like in now. And ski, like in what you do on the snow. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I'll see that you get the information. What? I will see that you get the information. One more time. Um, one more time. From the top. What? I'll, <laughs> I'll see that you get the information. 
Thank you, please. All right. They it's call the, my name Bill. Bill Wisnowski. I, I got it. I got it. Who? <laughs> Happy New Year, Mr. Wisnowski. Happy New Year's. <laughs> Hang in there. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm trying to get a hold of Bitch Bang. Okay, just move on. Okay, I need Bitch Bang. Yeah? Uh, is this Bitch Bang? Hello, yeah. this is Long Dong. I'm calling you. I'm what? trying to... My name is Watercock. I'm trying to get a hold of Bitch Bang. Yeah? I am calling long distance for... Where? For Bitch Bang. Where? I'm calling you. Where? Where you are? Are you at home, Bitch Bang? Yeah? I'm calling you at home. Yeah. And I would just try to get a hold of you. Yes. I would like to talk to Bitch Bang. Yes, Vicky. Yeah, what do you want? What do you want? Doctor, doctor, yeah, hello. Are you Chinese? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you Chinese? Yes, I am. I'm just Cantonese. Cantonese? Yes, I guess. Hello. Yeah? I try to get a hold of Bitch Bang. Yes? Bitch Bang. Yes? Hi. How are you? This is Big Old Naka. Oh, Naka? Yes, my name is Big Naka. Yes? Yes. What do you want? I'm trying to reach you. Yes, okay. Talking. Yes, go ahead. What do you want? I have the number that I have been calling. You are Bitch Bang. I am Bitch Bang. I see in the phone book and I say to myself, we must be long lost brother. Because I banged bitch one time when I was in Hong Kong. I, I am it. not in Hong Kong. No. I am Vietnamese. I have banged a bitch before and I thought I would call you. Yes, I'm speaking now. Have we met, have we met before? I don't know what you say. I think I may know you. You know me? Yes. Write me a letter. I do not have your address. Write to me a letter. I'll tell you a letter right now. The yeah. Le the letter B. I do not understand what you said. The, the Write letter, to you me said, a letter. You said you want letter. I say letter like B. Like bitch bang. Yes, yeah, bitch like, bang. I will, bang. I will use in sentence right now. I am calling bitch bang. Yeah. Speaking. And I think I know you. I think I met you one time. What? Where? What? Where are you with me? My name is Long Dong. Long Dong? Yeah, I talked to Bitch Bang. <laughs> I don't know what you say, okay? We are old friends. Uh, yeah, I was just listening to your station a little while ago. Yeah. And uh, I had my three-year-old son with me, and uh, you guys were putting down Santa, the Santa Claus thing, and oh, it's just your parents and all that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I was, I, I like, I love Opie and Anthony, you know, and I am a faithful listener, but uh, I had to change the, the station. Oh, that's okay. You're, you know, you're doing parenting, that's called, when you change the stage. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, I, mean, I, I detect that you're a little pissed at us because we just said that there's no Santa Claus on the air. Well, it would be one thing if it was, you know, a little later at night and there wouldn't happen to have been someone's kid listening, you know? Dude, I just saved you uh, the, uh, the hassle. Now you could get the credit for all those presents you bought for him. <laughs> Did we traumatize him? No, he didn't, actually. He, I changed the station in time where he didn't pick up on it because he was busy doing something else. Hey, what's your uh, son's name? It's Jeffrey. Can I uh, talk to him real fast? Uh, why? What are you going to say? I just wanted to say hi to him. You're not going to say anything bad, are you? Oh, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, are you sure? Yeah. I hope not. All right, where's Jeffrey? I'll, I'll get him. He don't, he don't really talk much on the phone, but... All right, I got to stop the tape here. How stupid is his father? What? He didn't say anything, did you? Norton, you say so? <laughs> right when you potted the mic up, he goes, what the F is this? Meaning what? Your food? That's not what he ordered. Oh. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear it on the air. So. It looks like a miscarriage in a bun. <laughs> but I think the F went over the air. Oh, so really? They, they might have had to dump out of something. It definitely... All right. I don't think so. All right, I better back up yeah, a little. Yeah, back up a little. All right, hold on. What the F is this? We're in the middle of doing the... Uh, Can you go figure John screwed it up? John cannot get anything correct by 100%. He's so always just 80% right. John's going the way of Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Anthony, so uh, I wanted to stop this tape because how stupid is this father asking you're not going to do anything crazy, are you? <laughs> are you? Why? What are you going to say? I just wanted to say hi to him. You're not going to say anything bad, are you? Oh, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, are you sure? Yeah. I hope not. All right, where's Jeffrey? I'll, I'll get him. He don't, he don't really talk much on the phone, but... What?
Yeah. How stupid is this? All right, he's very stupid for putting his little son Jeffrey on the phone with you. At this point, you're in your car going, oh, my God, for the love of God, don't do not put, put on your Jeffrey. young son on the on the radio with these guys. Keep Jeffrey off the phone. Keep Jeffrey off the phone, but he's that stupid. Yeah. All right, we'll let it play out now. I just want to make that point. You're not going to say anything bad, are you? Oh, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, are you sure? Yeah. I hope not. All right, where's Jeffrey? I'll, I'll get him. He don't, he don't really talk much on the phone, but... What's your wife saying in the background? Oh, she wasn't too happy about it when I told her. She wasn't listening, but... Oh, wait, I, wait, wait. Chill out. I'm the one making the call. Oh, chill I, out. I, okay, hey, Jeffrey, somebody wants to talk to you on the phone. Those guys we were listening to on the radio. I'm on the floor first. He's, he's, he's going to measuring tape. He said he's measuring the floor first. And your wife is mad at me for, for doing that? Uh, oh, I, be, I better talk to him and then smooth it over. Okay, well, here here he is, okay? I'll give him the phone, but I don't know if he'll talk. All right. Okay, here he is. Oh, here, Jeffrey, listen. Listen to this guy on the radio. He wants to talk to you. Here. Jeffrey, take it. Yeah. Come here. Wait, let me get him on my lap. Maybe he'll be right. yeah, you're going to have to wait a minute. All righty. I'm to run under the kitchen table right now. <laughs> well, just put the phone near his ear. Here's Jeffrey, come here. Come here, just listen to what this guy has to say to you. Jeffrey, there's no Santa Claus. Jeffrey, there's no Santa Claus. That's your dad. No. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Heartless. Come on. That can't be real. Come on. Oh. I'll say association and help you. You know, I had this number in my wallet. I, I don't know where I am. You don't know where you are? I had this number in my wallet. You're lost? I don't know. I'm at a phone booth. Give me the phone number. It's not on here. It's... It's not, there's no phone number on the phone? Let me look. What phone? You're calling from a phone. Is there a phone number there? Yes, there is. Could I have the phone number? I believe it's the 8. Hold on the phone. Can you hold on? Don't hang up. Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Who's this? This is Estelle. Can you uh, hear me? Hello? Don't hang the phone up. Hang up? No. Do not hang up. Hold on, please. Don't hang up. I'm going to put you on the phone with someone else. Hold on. Hang up what? No. It's cold. You're cold? I'm colder, yes. I know. Cold like Brazil. Really Where, do you know? I believe I need a change. Stay on the phone. I'm, I'm wet. You're all wet? Yeah, I'm wet. Okay. Well, you just stay on the phone. I need a change in my nurse isn't here. And, and do you know I'm going to walk across. Where you are? Can I'm, you tell me the number? Can I'm going to walk across the street now. No, stay on the phone. Who's this now? My name is Judy. What's yours? I call my name Bill. Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi. Hi, Sam. It sounds a little lost. Gonna walk across the street now. You know what? I'd rather you didn't uh, walk across the street because if you walk across the street, I can't talk to you. Oh, hey. Hey, Bill. Hey. Oh. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Are you still there? Who is this, please? This is Judy. Is this Bill? Where's Sam? Sam just went out to get some coffee. I hate coffee. Oh, Sam he... knows I hate coffee. Well, maybe he went to get you a coke, then. He said he was going out to get a drink. There's a cars now. A lot of cars. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cross the street now. You know what? If there are a lot of cars, you shouldn't be crossing the street. Well, here I go. I, I know. can't talk to I you. I think my home this. is across the street. Here I go. Are you talking on the phone, Bill? Hello? Hello? Oh, you should have called the police while we had him. Well, he's doing good. He's still here. He's still here. He probably was pissed he did not hang up. He put the phone down and he dropped the phone. He did not hang up. Oh, my God, someone call an ambulance. I told you. Wow, this is horrible. My God, he looks awful. Jesus. Who is this? Who am I speaking to, please? Somebody call an ambulance. Help over here. Right, right, we're calling an ambulance. He's, Can you give me the address? He's a mess. Someone call an ambulance. Don't touch him. Leave him down there. Hello? Can you give me, tell me where you are? It's too late. It's too late. This bad spirit all over the road. Can you tell me where you are? It's too late unless you got a shovel. 
All right, we'll get a shovel. Where are you? It's too late. It isn't too late. It's are too you? Late. What do you mean it's not too late? It's over there and it's over there. It's over there. Can't help you if you won't tell us where you are. You can't help anymore. Just bring a shovel. Can you tell me where you are right now? Disneyland. In Disneyland? Can you tell me where in Disneyland? Pirates of the Caribbean. And the Pirates of the Caribbean. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate life for me. I'm okay now. You're okay? You got all pulled yourself together again? A, a car hit me and I feel fine now. Oh, I'm so glad you That's feel fine. I... I, you had me really worried. That's all Bill needed was a little bumper. Can you tell me where you are, Bill? Jupiter. Now I'm Jupiter. Planet Jupiter. Is there a street number or a name on Planet Jupiter? 23 Jupiter. 23 Jupiter. 23. Okay. Do you live there? Send a cab. Send a, I would happily send a cab, but just tell send me where to send it. You tell them to make a right at Venus. Right at Venus. And it's Jupiter, 28 Jupiter. 28? That's what I said. Okay. And what are you doing there now? Masturbating. Oh, I see. <laughs> Hello? Is this Shirak Lahajan? Yes, can I help you? Uh, uh, yeah, this is Opie and Anthony uh, from WAF Radio in Boston. We got you on the air. Good, how can I help you? We have an interesting proposition for you. Go ahead. Well, first of all, how do you feel about the fact that we are not bombing Iraq? Uh, that is, should be left to the president to decide, not to me. If he's a... He's in charge. If he decided, I think it's a good idea. If not, that's his decision. Very good. So, uh, are you a, an American citizen now, or? Well, well, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, as long as I, I believe he said to be, if I can say my opinion, does not have to do anything with my citizenship. Dude, trust me. Uh, whatever answer you give is okay. Saddam's not going to shoot you in the back of the head in this country. You'll be okay. You can, well, you can my opinion is, he, you can my opinion is, if the government decide whatever the government, United States government decide, I will support them hundred percent. You could speak openly in this country. That's yeah. why we like exactly it here. Exactly what I'm doing over the phone. I, I'm glad everybody's going to hear it. All right. I think defensive. it's a government decision to be made, and if the president makes such a decision, I go along with it and I agree with it. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Now now that we're not bombing Iraq, we got a proposition for you. We want to uh, invite you down to the AF studios, okay? Okay. And we want to... Um, we want you to get bombed. You want to get bombed down here? You uh, drink, or is it some kind of, like, Arab thing? I don't know what this is going to help me. If you come down and get bombed or no. It, it'll help you. It'll be fun radio. You'll have a ball, and, and maybe we'll get you a, a beautiful woman instead of one of those towel heads. Well, I don't care what they gave me. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm not interested. I mean, our, our women, when you pull down their pants, they, they have, like, a nice little Hitler mustache. It doesn't look like the Ayatollah's head in her lap or anything. You no. Know? We, we could get you a nice hot stripper to dance around naked. You come down and, and get bombed. We'll all wear towels on our head. It'll uh, be fun. No comment on that. No comment on that. Come on. We need an Iraqi to come down here to get bombed. Well, why don't you get to go get one Iraqi? We're trying. That's why we're calling you. Well, you're calling the wrong person, sir. Why? I'm not Iraqi, sir. Oh. What we, are you? What are you, then? Well, I, that led to be known. You called me. You let me know. All right. Spell your last name. I'm good at this. Yeah, I know. If you have three or four consonants in a row in your last name, you're Iraqi. Well, I, I hope so. If you if you're telling me, I believe you. Dude, come on down here. We want to get you bombed. Uh, just, well, uh, if you don't know who's on the other side of the phone, I don't think you should call him and act like a jerky boy. We'll, we'll bring the, down a camel. You could uh, you could try, you know. Some... Well, I tell you what, you can do with the camel. Get laid with it. Ah, uh, no. See, that's what you do in your country. Yeah, you can go. You, under the you practice. You practice uh, driver's ed and sex ed with those damn camels. Poor well, I bastards. Tell you, I tell you what, if I find the leprechaun, I will do the same thing with it. Oh, uh, that that's good. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Great. When was the last time you, uh, you know, had sex? I don't know. Ask your sister. Best part of you dripped down your mom's leg, pal. Uh, hey, what, what can I tell you? You were so ugly, your mother pushed you back in. Oh, uh, you want to start the ugly jokes? You tell Come me, on. I tell you. You know, you, you call people on a, on a radio station. You, you want to know s***. I give it to you, pal. You call people. You're so, so full of s***. Your eyes turning brown. Go ahead. Listen, these are cutting-edge jokes there in Iraq.
Oh, really? Dude, at least when I pull down my girlfriend's pants, it doesn't look like I have the Ayatollah's head and a leg locked. Well, you never know. It was put to your aunt, your sister. Makes no difference. What? They are so ugly, they push them back in. I got an idea for your women. Soap, look into it. <laughs> well, I did. Guess what I see? Your mother. And do you help your wife braid her fucking underarm hair or what? <laughs> what? You don't know. I see your sister. What? Because your aunt is going on a ladder, a collateral way. You know, it starts from your mother, your sister, your aunt, your cousin, your niece, your nephew. Let's go. So you want to count it down? I tell you. Hey, who has a better leg, your sister or the goat that you own? <laughs> well, it was your mother. She bent over and I drive. <laughs> hey, dude, when was the last time you took a Scud missile to your ass? Well, <laughs> ask your sister. When she got it, she goes, oh. I know, I know. Yeah, sister, sister, sister. Yeah. All right. That's good, sister. Come on down, dude. I think we can have some fun with you. We'll, we'll get you bombed, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll yeah. get you bomb. Whatever liquor you want to drink, well, we'll, we'll, we'll give to you. All right, all we right. Could, you could drink till you forget all your women are hairy, smelly pigs. Oh, really? Yeah. Where was your mother last to shave her leg? <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, do we have a deal or what? No deal, man. Huh? You're running by the clown show. Well, I don't know what show <laughs> you'll be watching. Show. Get me the program, will you? Okay, Haji. <laughs> All right, whoever that is, got my answer. I know who he was, but got the drift. Hey, dude, you got to go. They're backing up at the Slurpee machine. <laughs> hey, I told you, if ring the bell, know it's a quarter. All right. Who is next? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> we are the world. <laughs> wow, it's so nice to bring people. Anthony found a lot of weird names of people that live all over uh, the United States of America. You know, it's amazing how many silly names there are out there and people that haven't had them changed. <laughs> right. Because these are real people. Now we're going to call the crap family in a little while. There is a crap family. Okay. That's the, the crap family. And they have, uh, like, uh, the Cockmans. <laughs> Cockman. Uh, Andre Tits. <laughs> Get it's out of here. It's the guy's name. Andre Tits. I swear. Right. And there's a whole gaggle of bastards in Texas. In Texas? The bastard family. The bastard family. We should ask him if the father's there, and when they say no, we, we go, well, that I figures. figures yeah. Bozos. <laughs> bozos. I got four bozos. All right. Two nuts. <laughs> One prick. <laughs> Scott prick. And a couple of drunks. <laughs> One family. It's Marcus and Denise drunk. <laughs> Is that drunk at home? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> really? I'm not kidding. And then there's a couple that are really close. Well, actually, we should replay the phone call of uh, the Cockman. <laughs> the Cockman. Well, the Cockman call. Well, you wanted to talk to Anita Cockman? Anita Cockman, but we got her uh, mother-in-law. Mother-in-law Linda Cockman on the line. If you missed it earlier, check this out. The Cockman. Or Ann. Or Ann. I don't know. Let's let's listen again, I guess. Hello. Hey. Anita. No, this is Ann. Nita's mother-in-law. Oh, I'd like to speak to Nita, please. Uh, she's at work. Another hard-working cock man. Well, Ann, how you doing? My name's Tug, Tug Cockman. My friends call me Spanky. Spanky Cockman, and we're putting together the Cockman uh, family reunion. Oh, well, you might want to speak to Morris. Morris Cockman. He's the Cockman. He's the wife. He's the Cockman. Is that a joke, Missy? <laughs> you know, we, we do get goofed on about this name a little bit. I'm trying to get together all the cockmen uh, around the country. Oh, yeah. You know, we're going we're gonna to put together a big cockman reunion. Yes. For all the cockmen. Yeah. How long have you been a cockman? Are you born a cockman or are you married into a cockman? I married one. <laughs> you married a cockman, did you? Yes. How long ago? Fifty-some years ago. You've been with a cockman 50 years? Well, he's been dead for several years now. Jiminy Cricket, I never thought you could you could kill a cockman. Well, I didn't kill him. He killed himself. He did? <laughs> Goodness gracious, how the hell no, that happened? No, he died with heart problems. Yeah, that poor cockman ticker boy. That's the curse of the cockman, we call it. <laughs> and cockman. Yes. You have any little cockman? I have three sons. Three sons? Yes. They're all, what are their names? They're all Cockman, right? Morris. Morris Cockman. Alan. Alan and Carson. Cockman. And Carson Cockman. Ashley Carson Cockman the second, and Ashley Carson Cockman the third is my grandson. All proud Cockman. <laughs> I like that. We're very proud of our name up here. Well, you know, we, we get goofed on a lot. The only name we have, we have to use it, don't we? All right. Hey, thank uh, you very much. Uh-huh. You, you've been a very cordial cockman. Thank you. <laughs> thank <Bye>. you. <laughs> she was a nice old cockman. <laughs> the cockman family, everyone. The cockman. I'm ready.
Good afternoon. Locked over. Hi, my name is Bill. I'm an elderly gentleman, and I seem to have locked my, my keys in my trunk. Of the car? Yes, yes, I have a beautiful 1972 Oldsmobile Cutler Supreme, and, and I locked the keys in the trunk. Uh, it's very tough situation. I, I was putting bags in my trunk. All right, hold a minute. Let me. I, I'll talk to you. I usually have a young gentleman help me, and as I was putting the bags in the trunk, I fell in the trunk. Yes, uh, hold a minute. And the lid fell down on me, and now it's getting very hot in here. I have the keys in my pocket. Okay, hold one minute. What? Go ahead. I have a customer on the phone. Can you hold one sec, please? I'll call you right back. Hello? You know, I don't think you understand the severity of the situation. I'm locked in my trunk. Yes, but you have to give me the telephone number so I can get back to you. I can't, I don't know it. I just, it's under my head between the jack and the spare tire. And, and I, I'm locked in my trunk. You are inside the trunk? Yes, I was putting the bags in. I usually have a young gentleman help me. And I leaned over and fell in and the lid fell down on me. And I'm in the trunk, and I have the keys. Yes, where are you, though? Hello? Where are you? Hello? Where are you? I'm, oh, I'm at the <laughs> mall. And, and uh, wait a minute, someone's coming by. Maybe I could get some help. Hold on, wait. Yes. Hello? Go ahead. Hello? I'm in the trunk. This is not a, a candid camera. She's, oh, she's walking away. She did not believe me. Jesus. And now it's getting warm and I have to pee. What color car are you? Oh, sh I just had it repainted. Now I can't remember. I'm getting lightheaded. I think it was green. It's green with, with pink pinstriping. Because my wife, Molly, she always liked pink. Oh, hey, hey what, what's your home number? I don't remember. My name, they call me Bill. Yes, but without specific information, I can't help you. Uh, well, you could just drive around the parking lot and I could yell. Maybe you could hear. All right, Hello? here's what I... All right. Hello! Are you coming? Here's Hello? what I can do. Hello? Hi. I'll just yell like you. I, 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 I'll have to call the police for you. What? No, I don't want police involved. It's very embarrassing. You're driving a green Cutlass Supreme? Yes, I just want somebody to unlock the trunk and I'll get out and drive back to my retirement home. They call me, my name's Bill. All right. I got jumper cables that's biting me like an alligator. And I'm, I'm getting woozy and, and I have to wet. Oh, all right. You are Bill. You're driving a Cutlass Supreme green. Oh. You're in a oh. mall. Oh. Hello? Hello? Yes. What what section of the mall are you? Oh, Jesus. I was buying uh, orthopedic shoes. What side of the mall is the orthopedic shoe store? Are they near the orthopedic shoe store? Ortho I think so. That's where I was buying. I bought that and I was at the drugstore getting something for my prostate and uh, hearing aid batteries and colostomy bags. I'm a mess, but... I All right, here's I what. Yes. Hang on one sec. And I'll try to get to you. Well, All right? Well, how the hell are you going to know? You want me to just yell? Hello! Who's this, please? Huh? Who is this, please? This is Eric. Hi, Eric. They call my name's Bill. Okay. You're driving a Cutlass Supreme. I am. And it's green. It is? Uh, do you know the license number? Of what? Of the car. What car? The one you're driving. I am. What? What's the license plate on the car? On, what, on the Oldsmobile? Huh? On the Oldsmobile? Yes. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. It's 107 AAF. L-A-F? 107 AAF. You'll notice it's got a big W-O-W -W in the back window. W? On Wednesday. Yes? O-W. Yes. All right. Okay. All righty. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Someone else is coming. Hey! Okay, wait a minute. Someone's here with a crowbar. Yes. Oh. Oh. Okay, sir, I'm out. I'm okay. out. Okay. So a nice lady opened Jimmy did with a crowbar. All right. Oh, Jesus, it is hot. Whoa. Okay, well, all right. Well, thank you very much for your uh, your hospitality. All right. My name, they call me Bill. All right. 
All right. All right, Bill. Bye. All right, Sam. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, yeah. Hey, you f it. Hey, it's Kurtzman! Yeah, I whip them out Wednesday, huh? That's right, baby. Yeah, I got a big wow on my truck here in town. Awesome! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I pull up to the station wagon with six broads in it, you know? So, I point to my wow sign in the window. They didn't show me s***. <laughs> well, I know how to call them nuns. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> <laughs> then this, this old crone sees me and opens a shirt. Jesus! I ain't saying she was saggy, but I think her right boob hit the gas pedal. She sped away. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, there's a state trooper here on radar detail. Uh -oh. Wait, hold on. Uh-oh. All right, all right, okay now. I just didn't want to wake him up. <laughs> hey, what's crammed up the ass of that chick from now? Oh, I don't know. She has a problem with the whole wow movement. How come whenever some women's right thing starts yapping about violence against women, you want to clock her in the head? Oh, my God. That's just my f***ing opinion. <laughs> hey, whip him out, lady. Right. everyone. All right, guys, man. <laughs> He's too much. Good luck to you on the highway. Yes, hello? Hello, is Megan there? No, this is her father. Oh. Who, who is this? This is David. David, what do you want? I was wondering if I could speak with her. What is this pertaining to, David? Um, she... well, it was pretty much a social call, because um, I'm, I'm a kid that was on her biking trip. She... And I was just calling to see how she was doing. You went on the biking trip with her? Yeah, the one that was in Maine and Canada over, um, I think it was July. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. What, do you want to go out with her? No. I just wanted to talk to her, oh. see how she was doing. Uh, why, why are you so concerned, David? I don't know. I'm a friendly kind of guy. Yeah, I bet you are. Now, with my daughter, you're not going to get that friendly. I didn't want to get that friendly with your daughter. I but, just wanted to be friends. Not what I heard. You know, I've, I've heard about you boys. Uh, well, you want to uh, touch her breasts and, and get, get down her pants. I, 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 with, with your tongues. I, I, I'm not going to put up with this anymore. All you you people and your damn hormones. I know you're kind. You're kind. You're David with your your between your legs, your brain. Not with my little girl, you don't. Know. That's my job, for Christ's sake. Tired of it. You listen to me, David. Yeah. What do you want? You want a piece of that supple ass of hers, don't you? No. I bet you do. No, not at all. And you want that, don't you? No. Don't you, David? No. I know your kind all too well. She's not pretty. Yes, she is. I think so, personally, but I'm not one that want to go out with her. I already have a girlfriend. I don't want to go out with Megan. I just wanted to be friends. I was just calling to see how school was and just ask her how she's doing. Why, why? She's not pretty enough for you to go out with? No, I have a girlfriend. I'm very happy with the girl that I have. Yeah, she has an ass uh, better than my, my daughter's? No. Well, dump her. Why don't you dump her? Because... And go out with my poor Megan. Cause, why, she's not good enough for you? No, because I don't really feel like getting into a long... She's got place. big cans and she's beautiful. To me, she throws a nice one, too. You know what I mean, David? Yeah. How do you know? I don't know. You just said, yeah, you lying I sack. Understand what you what have you done with my little girl? What I, have you done? I didn't do a thing. I understand what you mean. You asked me if I knew what you meant. Yes, I did, but I don't know what you're... I haven't done anything like that with your daughter myself. Uh, why, are you a virgin? No. Well, my little girl isn't. She isn't? I no. I didn't know that. She's not here right now. She's not? No, call back later. Okay. <laughs> Hello, can I help you? Yes, please. They call my name Bill. I have a couple of questions, please. I'm an elderly gentleman. Yes. Uh, I'm calling about the drug M Viagra. Right. It's a, a, the, the impotence drug. Right. How does this work? Um, it acts upon smooth muscle tissue. Um, it's a tablet taken by mouth. Um, Orally. Orally, correct. It's not available yet. Well, uh, one of the gentlemen at my home has, uh, was a test subject. Right. And uh, he had some, and I mixed them up with my vitamins, and I took five. You took five of them? Yeah, and now I'm, I'm hurting. Yeah, I believe so. It's blown up like a party balloon. I have quite an erection, and I want to know uh, what I could do to get rid of it. Um, I'm an elderly gentleman. They call him, my name's Bill. Right. Is there something I could do? It's got a life of its own, I tell you. Yeah, I know. 
<laughs> it's like a, a it's, it's, I swear it's like a party balloon. Like I could make a giraffe out of it if I wanted to. But it's hurting now, and I need uh, something to do with this. Right. To get rid of it. you have any drugs to get rid of it? No, we don't. Or should I just stare at a picture of Rosie O'Donnell? <laughs> Would that work, please? <laughs> it might work for me, that's for sure. No help from the pharmacist. Thank uh, you. I'm sorry. I tried just squeezing it, thinking it would go away, but then my testicles blew up like hoppity hops. I just can't get rid of it. I took five pills, and it's, it's out of control. <laughs> I know. It's on a mission. I, I look like a, my name should be Tyrone. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have to wait out the storm, I think. My wife ran away. She was frightened. It was so big. She couldn't get wet at Niagara Falls. She's like 70 years old, and she hasn't seen a, a monster like that since the Kaiser was in charge over in Germany. It's like a big blood sausage. I know. You ever see those at, like, fairs? Mm -hmm. Big blood sausage is what I got. It's turning purple. It's like I got an eggplant between my legs. <laughs> I would go to the ER. ER will yeah. take care of it? Yeah. I need a bun for my blood sausage. I think so. Maybe a nurse could take care of that one for me. I think so. I don't think they'll fit in the ambulance. <laughs> Quite frankly, they might slam it in the rear door. Uh, they could put you up on top. I look funny laying on a gurney covered with a blanket. It looked like a teepee. <laughs> For crying out loud, it's huge. <laughs> okay, well, I would go there. Oh, thank you for your... For your help, Mr. Pharmacist, please. No problem. Thank you, please. Bye. <laughs> Bye, please. <laughs> All right, so here's Ant doing uh, Bob Ross late yesterday in the show. Hello? What happy song do you want to hear? Pull it with butterfly wings. I think we'll put a tree right about here. And hey, he's got a friend. It's your world. You can make it whatever you want. And another little bush will go right about here. That's where the little rabbits live. <laughs> People don't know how to take us. <laughs> Bob Ross died of cancer. Why cut him out? Doctors find a happy little tumor. <laughs> I think that happy little tumor's right about here. And hey, look, he's got friends. <laughs> I'm gonna dip my hair in this lizard and crimson and make big clouds in the sky by pushing my big afro against the canvas. Look at that, right about here. Big puppy clouds now. I'll go into the liquid white, put some on my big afro, and ooh, look at all those clouds. Those are happy clouds. Remember, it's, it's your world. Just tease your hair up and get a big afro and put the paint on it. You can make all the clouds in the world. Look at my hairy face, too. I have this big frizzy beard and mustache. I'm going to make some bushes with it right about here. Now just press vroom vroom with <laughs> Look at those bushes. <laughs> That's where the little birdies live. That's right. My head looks like a toilet brush, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Now, I'm going to have to paint a, an old creek bed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my big hairy ass, and I'm going to sit in some of this sienna. Here I go. Uh, got this big afro hair on my butt, too. Sit down on the canvas. There we go. That's a little creek bed. And look, it's got a little cave in it. <laughs> Well, we want to welcome to the welcome him to the radio biz, and we're trying to get on his radio show. Let's give this another try here. Hey, Carl, Jimmy Walker, show you first day. Uh, Greg. Where are you calling from, Greg? Uh, Nebraska. Omaha. Yep. Okay. How old are you, Greg? I'm 48. We're just doing some demographic research. We'll get you as soon as we can. Okay. Uh huh. 42 degrees, Norm Roberts, News Radio 1290 K Car. The views expressed on this car. program are not necessarily those of 1290 K Car or its advertisers. They better not hang out. Oh, no. oh, more oh. Jimmy Walker on Husker Come Radio on 1290 K Car. <laughs> Call Jimmy now at 342 1290. Toll free at 1 800 577 1290. Or on your Alliance cellular phone, pound 1290. Jim. Now, Jimmy Walker. <laughs> Yeah, give me J.J. Walker, K car, man. That's the radio, 1290 Omaha. Give me that hour, I will give you the power. We're talking about gangs and the eradication of them, and I don't know why we are so delicate and gentle or... with these people. It's not necessary. What gang is it? God, just like two right, mice and roaches, they should be eradicated. And we seem to really be concerned about rehabilitating roaches. 
I mean, imagine oh, that. You know, getting roaches on. to be better roaches. My goodness. Wouldn't that be nice to what? have a good trained huh? roach around oh, the house? Blah, blah. Shut up, Let's use one, man. You're on with Jimmy J.J. Walker. How you doing? Hi. Hi, J.J.? How you doing, buddy? Hi. Uh, first time caller. Uh, oh, I, lo hey. I love your show, though. Go ahead. I want to know, um, uh, you're talking about gangs and all? You got it if, right if, here. Yeah, if J.J. was in a gang, you think it would be a blood or a crip? Oh, I don't think so. None of, none of those things. No? Come on, man. He was all flustered. No, man. I, no, no. That's his worst nightmare, having to answer a question about good times and that. Good times. He's trying to get away from the whole thing. He's doing serious topics on his talk show. <laughs> and I, I don't even give him the courtesy of calling him Jimmy. All right, we got to call him back. <laughs> we called JJ. We need another good, uh, good times question. James! 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 We'll ask, we'll ask him about the... the if the, you ever saw Esther Roll naked. Yeah! All right, cool. <laughs> We're up. Oh, shit. This is CNN Radio News. Is hair loss affecting your self-confidence? I'm Brian Reichenberg, General Manager at Kevitt. Hi, I've Brian. I've been from hair loss myself for over 20 years. So what do you do, Brian? Do you flip it over the top? And blown thousands of dollars. What do you use some of that no spray result. stuff and spray it all like over me, your scalp and make it look like a big world, spray-painted head? Answer. I've had a healthy head of hair, and I've been follically impaired. That's, That's what you know think. I Everyone around the office thinks you have a dead I've stuck on your head. For over one year, <laughs> Kevin has achieved a 90% success rate. Hundreds of thousands of men and women of all nationalities have used Kevin successfully. You know what Kevin is? Now that the U.S. patent Kevis has been approved, Kevin is, yeah, is, is, uh, is a shampoo that Kevis has uh, uh, sperm in for it. For full details, call toll free. You're putting sperm on your head to bring your hair back, bro. Kevin's consultant comes in its own pump dispenser. One eight 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 six zero four hair. Jimmy J J Walker on Husker Radio twelve ninety K Car. Now hear his brand of unconventional talk radio. You can call Jimmy now at three four two twelve ninety one eight hundred five seven seven twelve ninety or pound twelve ninety on your Alliance cellular phone. Now, Jimmy Walker. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy Walker in Omaha. Husker <laughs> <laughs> Radio, 1290 K Car. Talking about it all. And we got people that want to talk to me and they want to talk to you. They got the hour, they want the power. You know I give it to them. <laughs> Yo, with Jimmy J.J. Walker. How you doing, Tony? Jimmy. How are you, sir? Hey, it's great to hear uh, the show. Finally, a voice of uh, reason that we could listen to on the radio. Well, I think I'm reasonable. That's all. I just consider myself a logical right person. Yeah, that's, that's great because... Uh, I want to talk to you about the political correctness going on in Washington. That's what I think about all this uh, gun control that's going on there. They're going after uh, the, uh, the innocent people. Yeah, well, the innocent people are the people that have applied for guns legally. Absolutely. That's the whole deal. Like I said earlier, the horse is out of the barn. You know, I, I, I'm of a belief that I think we should abolish that, uh, Brady and all that other stuff, because those who have guns are going to have them in terms of the illegal people. Yeah. Those of us, uh, you know, who apply normally, I mean, we don't want to commit crimes. We want to follow the law, but it seems like they don't want us to do that. That's exactly what I'm getting. You ever see us to roll naked? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, how's Rerun doing? <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. I'm an elderly gentleman, and I need a motor a motorized scooter. They call my name Bill. What's your name, sir? They call my name Bill. Bill? Yes. Have you seen any particular type that you like? I like the little rascal. The rascal? I saw that on on the uh, TV. I'm a little rascal in my little rascal. Uh-huh. Is what the woman said. That's what the woman said, huh? And it, it, she has a, she's getting around, she's shopping and eating ice cream. How fast does it go, sir? Uh, the fastest is about five miles an hour. I flew a P-51 Mustang in the big one. Yeah, it won't go that fast. Oh, it won't? No. I need a, also a, a room in the back for an oxygen tank because uh -huh. I'm on oxygen. Oh, I see. And it's got to have good suspension because I don't want my colostomy bag dislodging. <laughs> no, you don't want that either. No. Yeah. The bigger machines will have like a spring suspension in the front. Oh, boy. My friend Petey's got one, and it's a real chick magnet. 
Yeah. He goes around the, at the bingo game and he gives the girls rides on the back. Can I get a two seater? No, you can't get a two seater. Okay, but I can't be jostled around too much. Yeah. I got a prostate like a porcupine. Yeah, oh, I see. Yeah, that's kind of tough. You can stop by our showroom. We have uh, three or four models on the floor and uh, we get them in. Excuse me, sir. How the hell am I supposed to get there? Uh, you don't, you're not driving anymore? No. I drove in a lake and they took my car away. Oh, I see. Can I take one of these, like, on major highways? No, you cannot. Because no. my grandson lives far away, and I'd like to play some ball with him. No, you can't do that, no. I but, can't? No, the, the furthest they'll go is about 24, 25 miles. Is that the furthest range? Yeah, and they go about 5 miles an hour, so you'd be kind of lost on the highway, don't you think? I don't have much. I have nothing else to do. <laughs> what else am I going to do with my time? If it takes me 2 hours to get 10 miles, I don't care. Yeah. Also, I lost my arm in the big one. Oh, you did? Do you have any kind of uh, catapult so I could play ball with my grandson? That you could, like a pitching uh, arm or something? No, no. They call my name Bill. Could you just come over and shoot me in the head? No. I mean, hell. I was big once. I was in the war. I was a commander. And now I got to drive on a three-wheel battery-powered scooter. Yeah, that's sad. This is degrading. It is degrading. Sam, could you just shoot me? <laughs> could you take a goddamn gun and shoot me in the freaking head? No, I don't think so. Please, I'll, I'll come down, put my head under the wheel of one of the scooters, and hit go. I don't think could it would do anything. Could you do that to me, no, Tony? I don't think so. They just hit me in the brain stem with a ball peen hammer stem. <laughs> could what? you do that? No, no, I'm I don't in think hell. So. Yeah. I haven't been laid since the Kaiser was in Germany. <laughs> for Christ's sake, I have big baloney breasts. I I haven't seen a naked woman in 42 years. That's a long time. Do you know what that's like? My pants are up to my nipples, and I'm calling you for a scooter. Now, what's your last name, Bill? I have I've a wraparound eyeglasses that I look like a friggin' Terminator, Sam. I've lived for 85 years. It's enough already, for Christ's sake. Kill me. Could someone just kill me? My name's Bill. They call my name Bill. I, oh, Jesus. My teeth just fell out. My friggin' teeth! I spit my teeth out of my head! Oh. Kill me! Somebody just kill me! For Christ's sake! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they call well, my name Bill. <laughs> uh, wait, I, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little groggy today. What's that appointment? Um, a prosthetic and orthotic lab. A prosthetic? Is this William? Yes. I'm under some extreme painkillers right now. A little more pain than the doctor gave me. Uh, what are we going to be doing at this appointment? We're going to check your prosthesis. Uh, which one? Both of them. Okay. What are you going to check for? To what? cover them. Right. Right. You're supposed to come in. I am? For the arms or the legs? The legs. Right. I don't, I don't understand what these prostheses are going to do for me. I, I still can't walk. Do I look good in pants? What, what's the use? You know? Besides, I'm getting used to taking a leak from my knees. I don't know. Recently got a girlfriend. She thought I was hot until I pulled my pants down and she saw the plastic legs. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hi. Um, looking at your ad for that singing star Ernie doll. Um, hold on for a moment. Oh, sure. Hello? Hello? Yes. Yeah, I'm looking at your ad in there for the Sing It Snow Ernie. Yes. How's that working out for you? Any good? No, I, I brought it back to the store. You did? Yeah. Oh, Jiminy Cricket. Why'd you do that? I didn't need it no more. You brought it back to the store. You couldn't sell it? No, I gave it to Charlie, actually. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> I think you're lying, my my friend. All right, listen, what do you want? I think you're, you're, I think you're lying about this whole Sing It Snow Ernie. Hey, listen, I don't have time for you. You said you gave it to a store and then charity? I think, uh... What do you give a f who I gave it to? I think you. What, what do I give a f? Yeah. For, sir? Well, uh, maybe I should identify myself. Maybe I'm a lawyer for Tyco. Oh, really? Sir, that makes the Sing and Snore Ernie dolls. Oh, actually, and I maybe, just went to the store. And, and maybe you can go you're f yourself. Maybe you're in big trouble. And your trouble. mother and your f***ing father. If I find you, I'll stick up your ass. What kind of language is this, sir? This is being recorded, sir. Oh, what kind of language no, is this? Listen, you're bothering me, asshole. You call me. I you think you're in big trouble, sir. Oh, it's what's after Christmas? Uh, oh. what, what's the matter? Your money-making scheme didn't work out, did it? Hey, Couldn't what do you got nothing else to do with 
Hi, Mr. Jarvis. Marcella. Hi, they call my name's uh, Bill. Your name is Bill? Yes, and my wife brought home your brochure on the VED. Uh-huh. And I need some information. What kind of information? Oh, boy. Well, how does this uh, device work, miss? Okay, it works on a vacuum constriction method. What does that mean? Okay, that means you form a vacuum with the pump, you get the erection, and then you get to put constriction on to hold it. Whoa, I got a little rascal. Uh-huh. Because I have a problem with mobility, and I haven't had an erection in uh, 20 years. Okay, you need to talk to your doctor about it. What do I do with the rubber band? Okay, sir, you need to talk to your doctor. Can I walk around the house with this on? Uh, with what on? The rubber band. Yes. How long does the erection last? You can keep the rubber band on up to 30 minutes. 30 What happens after that? Does it explode? You have to take it off. I take it off. Right. What if I'm not through yet? You have to take it off. You can only keep it on for 30 minutes. Will my penis turn purple if I keep it on too long, Missy? Yes, it will. What if I kept pumping? Would it be bigger than I was when I was 20? No, it's a, it's a, it has a safety valve on it that will not let you get too much pressure. Because I want like a kibashi. Well, it's Like not, a it's, blood sausage. Sir, this is only designed to give you an erection. Can I twist it into balloon animals? You know, like they do at kids' parties. Sir, would you like this information about... Yes, the, please. They call the my name's system. Bill. They call my name's Bill. I'm at the home. Okay, Bill. Uh, if, Can I make a giraffe out of it? No, you can't make a giraffe like out of it. Like if I twist it like a balloon. How do I get the rubber band on if it's tight? You put it on the cylinder first. Okay, I put it on over the cylinder. And I get the erection, you transfer it to the base of the penis. Oh, boy. I'll be having fun now. The wife will probably call and thank you. Okay. Although it's been many years, she probably couldn't get wet in the rainforest at this point. Are you going to write this down, sir? Yes, please. Hey, could I use this like a dirt devil to clean my, like, the stairs, the carpet, because it's a vacuum? No, you cannot. Oh, could I use a dirt devil on my penis? I wouldn't suggest it. Because I have a Hoover and rubber bands, and I don't really see the difference. Maybe I could save a couple of dollars. Okay, that's up to you. And I'll try that. Would you recommend that? No, I would not. Why would you like a big pumped up purple monster? Why don't you call this doctor and ask him about it? Would you like a big pumped up blood sausage? Because I'll pump that up to 11 or 12 for you. <laughs> Hello. What's up? Hello. I just wanted to, uh... Why are you on this line? Well, I figured it was easier than getting out of my chair and coming down the hall. Oh. <laughs> just, uh, wanted to make a request. Yeah. Maybe we could steer the show in a little different direction so that this doesn't get out of hand. What's getting out of hand? Well, I think we're we're going into the gay zone, and, uh, <laughs> we all know where that where that leads wouldn't you agree not really but pokey pokey in the butt <laughs> no no licky licky that's fun stuff yeah it's fun but you know what it's gonna get us in trouble <laughs> just you know steer somewhere else if you keep going this direction it's gonna be trouble I'm just warning you not not from me I'm talking about outside we've been down this road before the old dirt road yeah <laughs> Just giving you a little heads up here. All right. Okay. Head. See you. Hey, yes. Who's this? Hope you did today. Hi, I have, um, you to you guys. Why? Because I'm actually a friend of Edward O'Brien. Right. Right? And you guys are being real assholes. Shut the Shut f*** up. up. You, you think he's innocent? You, you think that big fat is innocent? In this country, innocent? everyone's innocent until proven guilty. Oh, in the court of law, I, in the court of opinion, he's guilty as sin, f you bitch. You. What are you f***ing in the Twinkies? You asshole. Bitch? What are you f***ing in the Twinkies? F*** you. What is that all you guys know how to say? What, 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 what are you going to do? What are you bringing up Twinkies and oral favors to jail, you bitch? So how heavy is his belly when you pick it up to f*** him off? You. Yeah, why don't you go tell that to the Downing family? 98 times the f***ing douchebag stabbed there, you f***ing <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. You know damn well. You he's... guys deserve the biggest f you of today. You know damn well. He's... Bye. You know damn well he's... he's guilty. He <laughs> f***ing <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Good afternoon, Sydney Farms. Can I help you? Hello. Hi. Hi, I've been reading about gin ginkgo. Biloba. Uh, hello, yes. I'm an elderly gentleman. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Yes, sir. I've been reading about ginkgo. It's supposed to um, help with... Um, I'm, I'm calling about ginkgo. Yes, it's very good. It's good for... Um, Blood circulation. My, well, I read today it's uh, good for Alzheimer's. I haven't seen that. I just know that it adds a lot of blood flow to the brain. Who is this, please? My name is Richard. Hello? Yes. Yes, I'm calling about ginkgo. Yes. How could it help me? It adds uh, blood flow to the brain. To what? It, add, it, it increases blood flow to the brain. Are you a doctor? Uh, no, I'm a pharmacist. Who is this? Richard. I'm calling about ginkgo. Yes. What could it do for me? It helps your bl help, uh, blood increase blood flow to the brain. I wish you'd answer Wait. my question, young man. Yeah. Because I'm getting a little rambunctious and upset with you. Right. I'm trying to m find out about ginkgo, and you're telling me about uh, b blood. Well, it's the more blood you get to the brain, the better the brain functions. Where did I call, sir? You called CVS Pharmacy. It's a pharmacy? Yes. Oh, well, they call my name's Bill. Okay, could I need some information, Pete, about ginkgo? Right. I'm inquiring as to ginkgo. Yes. What's ginkgo good for, please? It helps your memory. It helps what? Helps memory. What's that? Your memory? Yes. Remembering things? Oh, who is this, please? Richard. Richard? Yes. I want to talk to the other guy I was yes. speaking with, please. Where did I call now? CVS I, Pharmacy. Have I been transferred? No. Are you a doctor? No. Because they call my name's Bill. Right. I'm uh, I have to go now. I'm inquiring as to right. Ginkgo. Okay. Uh, I would speak with uh, a health food store. I Didn't I call that? No. Okay, please. Where uh, did I call? Uh, CVS Pharmacy. And who is this, please? Richard. Okay, they <laughs> I have to go now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Oh, man. I got to say, though, the guy had the patience of his saint. He hung right in there. He outlasted you, bro. They call my name Bill. They call my name Zopi. That's they call my name Anthony. Anthony. Hello? Hi. Hi. Bill. Who's this? Pat. Hi, Pat. How are you? No, this is the wrong Bill. Uh, well, Pat, I have some bad news. What? Uh, Pil... Uh, uh, Bill died today. You kid! Oh my God! Yeah, it's tragic. Who's this? He was in a car accident today. Oh no! Who is this? This is John. John. Yeah. Oh boy! Oh my God! I don't believe it. Yeah. I was. Just talking to him. I know. Where did this happen? Uh, this afternoon. Where? On the highway. Oh, God, love him. Yeah, big, big, big pile up. Well, be sure and give the kids my condolences. <laughs> okay. Well, I gotta go. All right, John. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hello? Hello. Who's this? Who's this? I don't know. Am I talking to some radio station? A radio station? Why would this be a radio station? I don't know. Who is this? Uh, this is John. I'm in my car on the Mass Pike. Oh, my God. Wow, Slow how down, did we get Slow you down. I have no idea. This is really weird, but this is my exit here. Uh, uh, but do you work for AAF? Uh, no. Watch that. On the right. Oh. <laughs> All right. Hey, yeah. Uh, All right. Have a good fourth. Well, uh, uh, yeah. How did you get my number? I have no idea. He was trying to call a Use number. Your and I was Watch the that. You know, Slow he down. picked up on me and I said, I'm dialing a number. John, you're going to kill yeah. And he started, he had started dialing before I did. Wait, I didn't hold, realize he was on the oh, phone. I started wait, dialing. Wait, can you hold on? Hold on. I got to concentrate here. I'm, I'm passing some old lady here. Not too quick. Slow down. Okay, continue. Uh, I don't 
don't know how we got. Oh. I have no idea how we got you. We, uh, I, I'm going like 75 miles an hour on the Mass Pike right now. I wish you'd slow oh, down. Wow. I want to just get home to my wife and kids. So oh, okay. Slow down. Well, listen. I really. I hope you have a good fourth. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> Hello? Hello? John, could you hand me my arm? <laughs> Jerk off. I can't believe this guy's racist. All right. Do your show, pal. You He's have no boy. fucking talent. Yeah, and I said the F word on the air because this is personal now, you 